Whew, busy day out there. I thought I would just sneak in here, turn my on the air light on <laughs> and answer a question or two. Um, let's see what we got. Get my glasses on. I'm Paul McGowan, by the way, if you hadn't guessed. Let's see. All right, this comes from Kin So from Surrey, BC in Canada, eh? Uh, Kin So says, an old folk walks into your music room one, asks for a demo, and you notice he is wearing hearing aids. What would your reaction to those hearing aids be? That's a great question, Kin. Um, I get asked that a lot because many of our customers uh, are, are growing older and uh, some have you know, hearing aids. Uh, many of us don't, but some of us do. And I would have to say that once you're used to a hearing aid, uh, if, if they're good hearing aids, you can enjoy music in Music Room 1 or in your own system as, as well or uh, better than a number of people who refuse to fix the hearing and recognize that they need a little bit of help. Now, I'll give you some examples. One of the best listeners I know, Bascom King, uh, wears hearing aids. Now, Bascom, his hearing is truncated in the higher frequencies, and he uses hearing aids uh, many times to, to help with that. And Bascom can pick out problems in a stereo system like few people on the planet. He can just sit there and listen to what's going on and go, that is a capacitor problem. That is a low frequency problem. That is, a you know, whatever it may be. Bascom is one of the best listeners I've ever heard, very experienced, and wears hearing aids. I know other people who refuse to wear hearing aids. Uh, our, our chief engineer, Bob Stadther, is a, is a great example. He can't, whenever there's a buzz or, or something going on, uh, that we all sit and go, you hear that, right? Or that clicking or whatever in the lab. Nope. Doesn't hear a thing. He can't hear over, well, I don't know, 1,000 cycles, 2,000. It, it, it just has terrible high-frequency hearing. Yet, Bob is also an excellent listener. When we play classical music, you know, it's that doesn't sound like the horn should. That doesn't sound like strings should. What happens, and, and this is just a pet theory of mine, I, I have... No scientific basis whatsoever on this, but this is just something that I've observed over the years. We humans take whatever failings we have, whether it's eyesight or hearing, touch, smell, and we make up for it. We, we, we mold our lives around whatever gifts and whatever failings we have within us, and we make it work. And, and we do that because... Our senses are there to help us navigate through our world, right? Hearing's important because we want to hear if somebody's approaching or there's danger or I'm in the woods and all of a sudden there's a bear. Um, I want to know where that bear is and where he's coming from so I can kind of avoid the guy, right? Um, or your sense of smell or sight, whatever. So we, we have managed within our brains to compensate for hearing that's off, for high frequencies that are lost, for mid-ranges that are overly loud. And, um, and we do that to make the world real so that we can navigate within that world. So whether you have hearing aids or your hearing is off a little bit, if you expose yourself to live music and you know what it sounds like, then when you get into the listening room, whether you have hearing aids or not, you can tell whether or not what you're hearing in reproduced sound is valid and truthful. All you really need is exposure to real music, what real sound is, and, and you're in good shape. But as a reminder, uh, I have warn my kids, I've done everything else, and I'll warn you, protect your hearing. If there's loud noises, roll the window up. Don't go to loud concerts, wear earplugs, 
plug your ears. I've gone to such extents that I've rolled up napkins and stuffed them in my ears just, you know, at loud parties because hearing damage is rather permanent and too much stress on your hearing and you'll start to lose it. It's precious. And once it's gone, you're going to have hearing aids. You're going to be compromised. And can you still enjoy stereo? Of course you can, but it's not worth it. Take care of your hearing. Great question. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm.